In this video, I'm going to be answering some common questions you may have when deciding between purchasing a heat pump or furnace for your home. And we're also going to touch on something you might not known had even existed, and that is what's called a dual fuel system. And I'll even show you one in action. And if you're not sure what a heat pump is or how the technology works, don't worry because at the end of this video, there'll be a link to another video that explains some of the basics of heat pumps and how they work. So before we get started, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We put out daily and weekly content on how to get the best HVAC for your home and how you can avoid some of the more common HVAC mistakes. And it's a free way you can support the channel if you enjoy this content. It takes a lot of effort to produce and put out consistent content and consistent videos like this. And we greatly appreciate any of your support. So there are five major points to consider when it comes to choosing HVAC and those considerations are number one, your local climate, number two, operating costs, number three, how long you plan to stay in the home, number four, cost to purchase, and number five, comfort, meaning which system is going to provide the most comfortable environment in your home. And after touching on all of these topics in the context of heat pumps, we'll also explain what a dual fuel system is and whether or not it makes sense for your specific circumstances. So first off, let's talk about your local climate. If you live in a moderate climate, which we can loosely define as having temperatures that rarely go below freezing, zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, then there's a chance you might already have a heat pump installed in your home. Since in climates like this, the heating demands are typically much lower and even a basic heat pump can function efficiently. But what if you live in a colder climate, perhaps one where it gets well below freezing and there's snow on the ground in the winter? Heat pumps can still work well in these climates and this is is often a great example where a dual fuel system shines, but more on that later. In general, if you're in a moderate climate, a heat pump will be able to keep up year round without breaking the bank to operate it. And that brings us to consideration number two, and that is operating costs. Now, in order to determine what is more efficient to operate, you have to look at a variety of things. You have to look at the cost of natural gas in your area versus the cost of electricity. And an additional variable is whether or not you have solar panels on your roof, because if you have a surplus of solar energy, you can run, oftentimes run your heat pump for free. In fact, we have several customers with Daikin VRV Life units, which are inverter driven heat pumps, and they heat and cool their home entirely with power generated by the solar panels they have on their roof. Now take this statement with a grain of salt, but in general, the rule of thumb is that if you live in a state with a very cold climate and very cheap natural gas prices, it is almost always more efficient to run a high efficiency furnace. However, a heat pump can still make sense in these scenarios, especially in a dual fuel application. And if you live in a state with a moderate climate, then if you have a heat pump, it can be the same cost as its furnace counterpart. So in general, in my experience, it has been rare to see scenarios where heat pumps are cheaper to run than furnaces. But again, take the statement with a large grain of salt because energy prices vary drastically across the nation. So consult your local professional in your market that is familiar. My opinions are based on the Denver, Colorado metro area, and I will say natural gas prices have increased substantially recently to the extent that heat pumps may soon be cheaper to run than furnaces. Now, number three is how long do you plan to stay in your home? If you are planning on selling your home or moving within the next five years, then it is my professional opinion that you install something that is the best bang for your buck and meets your basic comfort needs. I've talked to countless people that have said, oh, this is our forever home. We plan on being here for a while, only to find them moved out and getting a bid on a new system from us for their new upgraded home down the street just a few short years later. But if you love your home and you don't see yourself moving anytime soon, it may be worth investing in the highest efficiency system possible since you will have a long enough break-even period to recoup these costs. And an added benefit is that it will also help insulate you from rising energy costs, which brings us to number four, cost of purchase. Now, depending on your specific scenario and current setup in your home, typically whatever is existing is what will be the cheapest to swap. If you have an all electric air handler with heat pump, for example, installing a furnace in a dual fuel setup would actually be more expensive to install because you'd have to run a new gas line for the furnace. And in an alternate scenario, if you had an existing furnace, but wanted to replace it with a heat pump and all electric air handler, meaning that the backup heat source was an electric heat kit, the cost to retrofit 
benefit from an all electric backup heat kit could be staggering. And the reason is because the electrical circuit required to replace a large furnace could be so large, you need to upgrade your entire electrical panel. So that being said, the cheapest option will always be swapping your existing unit with a like for like replacement. And the best thing to do is get three bids from three different contractors in your local area. And they could advise you on some of the topics we've touched on in this video to give you a more personalized recommendation. And last, but definitely not least at number five is comfort. So which system will be more comfortable? Now, regardless of whether you are choosing a heat pump or a furnace, the general rule of thumb is that the higher the efficiency, the more comfortable it will be. But I'm going to elaborate on this and define comfort as falling into two categories. Number one is noise. Since there is nothing more annoying than your neighbor's obnoxiously loud air conditioner, they know who they are. And this is why inverter heat pumps have and modulating furnaces take the cake in this category because they are very quiet and therefore very comfortable. And number two is even heating since there is nothing more annoying than having hot spots and cold spots throughout the house. And since most high efficiency systems are variable speed and or modulating systems as well, they tend to have longer run times, longer ramp up periods, and therefore provide more even temperatures throughout the home. So after having come this far, you've probably gotten a better idea of which heating system might be better for you. But if you're still on the fence and don't want to make the wrong choice, the good news is that you don't have to choose and you can have the best of both worlds with a dual fuel system. And to sum up what a dual fuel system is, it is what it sounds like. It is the combination of a furnace that runs off of a natural gas uh, or propane line that is paired with a heat pump that runs off of electricity. And the general principle behind the concept is that most high efficiency heat pumps are efficient down to as low as zero to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And when you pair them with a backup furnace, you have backup heat for those handful of extra cold nights when the heat pumps just aren't keeping up. Now, these are an excellent choice in climates like Colorado. And for what it's worth, it's what we have installed at our office. And it's also what I have installed in my personal home. And the reason we decided to put in a VRV system was because we like the zoning capability and they are very quiet. And since we're also an HVAC company, we wanted to put in the best and put it to the test to see if it was in fact all that it's cracked up to be. So if you're curious what we found out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and check out our VRV Life review video where we do a tour of a VRV Life system so you can see it in action. But before we go, as promised, we are going to show you a dual fuel system in action so you can see how it works to further understand the concept. So this is the outdoor condenser portion of the dual fuel system we have installed. And this is a VRV Life unit. This is an inverter heat pump. And as you can see, it is very quiet, which is one of the biggest perks. But when we go out to check the indoor portion, you'll get to see how it pairs with a furnace in order to provide two sources of heat in one. So right now we are in the mechanical room. And as you can see, the evaporator coil sits on on top of the furnace like a normal air conditioner would. But the difference is that this coil can also heat because the heat pump outside can reverse the flow of refrigerant to make this function as either a heater or an air conditioner. And the furnace functions as the air handler that circulates air through the living space when the heat pump can't keep up on those very cold nights, then that's when the furnace kicks in to pick up the slack so that the thermostat can satisfy temperature and so that you can stay nice and toasty and have the best of both worlds. And we hope you enjoyed this content. And if you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how you can get the best HVAC and have a more comfortable home. And don't forget to check out this next video where I explain the principle behind how heat pumps work so you can decide if it's the best fit for